go ahead. Try to run. But I'm serious about this, Liam. Yes, so am I. Stay out of my love life. Your love life with the Oz. Yes. That's not going anywhere. Uh, now that Steffi's back to stage. Please stop. Please stop. Please I'll stop. stop. As soon as you stop denying that we both know what I'm saying is true. Okay, how many times do I have to say this? I'm committed to Ivy. How committed? How committed and for how long now that Steffi is back in your orbit? All that history you share, all oh, that. We work together, Dad. Would you stop making it seem like we're. There's still we're... all that chemistry, Liam. Come on. I mean, you're going to deny that Steffi excites you in a way that no other woman can. You went to Ivy because Steffi was gone. But now Steffi is back and she is still in love with you. But you better make a move before some other guy does. Hell, that could be happening right now. Is that what you want? You won't play second string to Liam. Who do you kiss? Me. <laughs> yeah, and I meant it. You and I have spent so much time looking back instead of to what's standing right in front of us. Which is? Well, that's what we need to be open to finding out. Especially you. Because like it or not, Liam is committed to Ivy. And the girl from down under, she's not going anywhere. Okay, so, so you're from... Immigrations and Customs Enforcement. You are Ivy Forrester? Yes. The same Ivy Forrester that applied for a work permit from the U.S. government to work in uh, Paris a few months ago? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you go to Paris? Do the work? Yeah, I did. Why? Well, at the time, you represented yourself as having dual citizenship, Australian and U.S. Oh, well, that's because I have dual citizenship. My dad's American, my mom's Australian, so I'm a citizen of both. <laughs> Technically, you could have been if you would have filed the proper paperwork. I don't understand. Your passport's Australian. Your U.S. passport? Well, I've never had one. Why not? Because my dad's always just told me that I'm a citizen of this country. Well, your father was wrong. a matter of getting a U.S. passport, I can go down to the passport office and I'm do it afraid now. It, it's not that simple. Why not? Well, as I said, your father was incorrect about your dual citizenship. Okay, but There I mean, are I... specific procedures that need to be followed, forms that need filling in, none of which you or your father did. <sighs> okay, so, so what you're saying to me is that I shouldn't have gone to Paris. That's exactly what I'm saying and much more. Hi, honey. What a surprise. Why? We both work here now. <sighs> it's not what I meant. Is, um, is Ridge around? In the building or around in general? OK. What about Ivy? What about her? She wanted some feedback on these designs. From you? I'm her design partner. See, I don't know if partner would be the best way to describe what you are to Ivy. Okay, but... okay, all right, okay. You know, I may have done some not so nice things to her in the past, but oh. we've made it through all of that. Wow. Yeah. Marriage really has changed you. I know, I know, I know. Mm. But of course, when you're in love. Yeah, feeling that, oh, I used to know back in the day. Oh, honey. Still no word from hope, huh? Mom, for all intents and purposes, Hope and I are divorced. And where does that leave you? Well, I'm looking in another direction now. Oh, my God. Is 
there a new woman? Why do you like Ivy, Dad? Ivy's great. I like Ivy, beautiful, high. But what I feel about Ivy is beside the point. Well, apparently not. Otherwise, you wouldn't be pushing Steffi at me. I don't have to push Steffi at you. Not if everything you've meant to each other. <laughs> okay, really, this is none of your business. Sure it is. You're my son. You're my business. Your happiness is my business. So if that means I have to get in your face and force you to look at a situation honestly. What situation, Dad? There is no situation. Okay. Pretend like what you're feeling for Steffi isn't scaring the hell out of you. Let some other guy right in there and sweep her off her feet. See how you feel then. What am I interrupting? Not only shouldn't you have gone to Paris, you should not be working in this country either. In fact, every day that you're in this office, you're breaking the law. I mean, how can that be? This is this is my family's business. It's owned by Forrester's. My last name is Forrester. Unfortunately, that doesn't change your citizenship status. You're an Australian citizen, which means, well, which okay, means... Okay, okay. there has clearly been a huge misunderstanding. I'm sure there's something we can do to figure this out. Yes, there is. You go back to Australia, ma'am. Okay. Okay, well, I'll, I'll book a flight home and I'll apply for the right working permit and then I'll return. No, I'm afraid you won't be coming back anytime soon. Why not? You broke the law, Miss Forrester. Now, I've seen these things drag on for years, if you're ever allowed to come back. Look, I, I could bring you in right now, but I'm going to give you this opportunity. Wait, are you saying I may never be allowed to return to the States? Given this violation, there certainly is a chance of that, yes. I need to talk to a lawyer. That's your prerogative, but I can assure you, these deportation papers, they're in order. Now, you need to obtain proof of travel, a ticket, anything, indicating that you are leaving the country, and it needs to be delivered to me. Otherwise, I'll be back here, and with a court order. Either way, you're leaving the country. What? Who said anything about a new woman? Oh, don't even, what? Wyatt Spencer. I know you too well. Apparently not as well as you think. What is her name? I'm not saying because I prefer to keep the details of my private life private, Aww. especially from my way too inquisitive mother. No, no, what you call inquisitive, I call making sure the young woman is worthy of my son. Oh, oh, you got anyone special in mind? Well, let's see. Hope is out, so is Maya's little sister. Yeah, I kind of blew it with the coal. But I gotta admit, it feels pretty good. Getting back in the game. Okay. So who is this woman? Is she somebody that I know? Come on. <gasps> no! Shh. Oh. no! Well, well, well. Look who's here. Perfect timing. Ignore my dad, Steffi, I do. What's up? I'm here on official forester business. All right, boys. Yes or no? What am I looking at? If you have to ask, you really are clueless. Dad, get out. Get out! Uh, okay. One condition. You better take to heart what we were talking about. Yeah, 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 deal. Get out. And uh, as for you and your lingerie line, I got three words. Hot as hell. Thank you. Well, uh. <laughs> now that I have your father's critique, I'd like my VPs. I'm thinking about rebooting the line. Is it a winner? Or do you need to see it on before deciding? How does 
thank God. Your text said it was urgent. What's going on? An immigration officer just came and delivered me this. You're being deported? As I was saying, she's gorgeous, smart. Mm -hmm. We got a lot in common from our past relationships. Right. And we're both looking to move on, find some happiness, excitement. Of course you are. And I told her to give us a chance. <sighs> right after I kissed her. <gasps> you kissed Steffi? Yes. Oh my God, she's so hot. Okay, I know. And you know me. When something feels right, I go for it. And this definitely feels right. I am so happy for you. I mean, she is a strong, independent young woman. I can see this going so far. Okay. Whoa, 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 Cupid. Okay. It's not like I've fallen in love with her by any means. We barely even know each other. <sighs> I just, I just want my baby to have what I have. Your baby's doing just fine, Mom. Still, I have to ask. Mm -hmm. What about Liam and their history together? Well, thankfully, my brother's committed to someone else. And like I told Steffi, Ivy's not going anywhere. What did your dad say? Oh, there's no cell service where he is right now. Please tell me there's something you can do. Immigration law is not my expertise. What should I start doing? Should I go home and pack my bags? Never to return? God, this is my home. I'm here. I'm working for the family business. The company would hate to lose you. All of us would. Especially. No, don't. Pl oh. Just don't even say it. I can't. I can't even imagine leaving Liam right now and being separated from him. I mean, no, not everything is perfect, but. Oh my gosh, how is this happening? Ivy, I'm sorry. I really am. But based off these deportation papers and what you've told me, I. tell Liam? What if this is goodbye forever? <laughs> Whatever happened to doing sketches first? Why waste time? I told one of our top sewers my idea and she whipped up this prototype. What's wrong? Is it too risque for your taste? <laughs> no, no. For once in my life, I actually agree with my father. It's hot as hell. Speaking of Bill, what was that all about you giving deep thought to his advice? Advice about what? You know. You you know how my dad feels about our relationship. Oh, that he thinks I'm perfect for you because I am? Yeah, and he thinks I should make a move now before somebody else snatches you up. He does have a point. What, is, what does that mean? What do you think it means? Are you dating someone? Too soon to tell. Who? Someone at work? Yeah. Uh, Charlie? He's too old. <laughs> Carter? Too tall. All of them. Already taken. Okay, give me a hint. He has the same last name no, as no, yours. No, not Wyatt, no, Steffi. We're not talking like seeing each other. Uh, Actually, not talking much at all. With him kissing me and all. You, you kissed my brother? Oh, hey, Ivy. There you are. I thought we could go over these sketches. Ivy, is everything okay? This is really not a good time, Quinn. Why? What's the matter? She said something's wrong. Oh, okay, all right. Well, then there's nothing wrong. Not the vibe I'm getting. Um, well, can we talk about these sketches? No, I, I actually, I can't deal with those right now. Okay. When do you want to deal with them? Because Ridge wants them on his desk. Quinn, but... I said not now, okay? Okay, look, I realize that there may be some residual resentment towards me, but, you know, since I've been back at Four Star, I feel like we've been working pretty well together, so if I've done something to offend Honestly, you... Honestly, this is not about you. Well, then is it about these papers? Quinn, just, well, I mean, if it's about the jewelry line. No, Quinn, please don't. 
You're being deported? Look, neither one of us should be anyone's second choice. Speak for yourself, Hotshot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Blame it on timing. Circumstance. But the point is, we're both unattached. Maybe I want to be single for a little longer. Yeah, hmm? maybe I do too. And maybe you might have just a little bit more fun. Wyatt kissed me. Yeah, and then you slapped him and you were like, never touch me again. Oh, you, did you kiss him back? Uh, it was more like, Ah, uh, never mind, I don't wanna know, I don't wanna know, ugh. Fine, I'll drop it. No, we are not dropping this. You're jealous. I, I'm, why does it have to be Wyatt, Steffi? Seriously, Liam, it's... I have been completely honest with you. I put myself and my feelings out in the line more than I probably should have. I was hoping that you and I would get back together, but you said you are committed to Ivy. So I'm moving on. I'm living my life. Even though... What? The way you're reacting right now. But if Ivy's the one you truly want... You know, I spent all this time in Paris trying to get over you, and I did try, but it didn't happen. Maybe that's because no one understood what I was feeling. Why it does? I can't keep doing this, Liam thinking things are gonna change between you and Ivy. You made it very clear about your feelings for her, okay? But something tells me that you're not being honest with yourself. If you want me, I need to know. Now. Show me, Liam. <laughs> 